we still going live, man. So let's 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 look at a little stats with that crazy game we just got through going on, y'all. That was crazy. That was that was crazy. So oh man. So the first game. First game without Big Baby. Like I said, I've seen so many people talking about Big Baby's lost his step, Big Baby this and that. Brandon Williams, for those who don't know who Big Baby is. But this is the first game, I believe, this season without Big Baby. And Davin Cook went 110 yards rushing. Uh, Davin Cook went 110 yards rushing without being baby there to clog up the run stop. That right there should say a lot for us to run the game. DBs, I don't know. They gave up that one big play, but this game was so iffy and wishy-washy. It was ridiculous. It was just flat-out ridiculous. Josh Bonds did his thing. Josh Bonds, 11 tackles, 8 solo tackles, 1 tackle for loss. Did his thing. Shane said, it wasn't pretty, but we got the W. Very true, Shane. So, Lamar Jackson... 41 attempts, 27 complete, 266 yards, 3 TDs, 2 interceptions. Now, on one interception, that was his fault. But that last one, I put that last interception, that second interception, I put that on Freeman. Freeman should have literally blocked, blocked his dude. He didn't even block his dude. He just literally looked at him and was like, what you going to do? Are you rushing? Are you not rushing? So I put that last interception on Freeman because he didn't go straight impact on the dude he was supposed to go. But Lamar Jackson rushed 120 yards, y'all. 21. Who carries? Offensive line played terrible the entire game. But when they start doing a little screen pass, a little slant passes, Marquise has nine reception, 116 yards, 12.9 yards average. He was doing his thing. Rashad Batman Bait. Oh, the catches this man was ridiculous. Darren, Rashad, and Hollywood is the future of the wide receiving court for the Ravens because they was doing a thing. Mainly when Bateman really gets fully healthy, he's out here one just snatching him. Him and Hollywood snatch the T Martin and Keith Williams coaching. Snatching the ball out there. Dev. Dev. Doing this thing. Man. And this is all when Lamar has just enough time to look up and down the field. When Lamar in overtime, you can tell the defense was just the Vikings defense was just tired and they stopped just punking our offensive line, Lamar started carving them up because he finally had time to look up and down the field, go to his first, second, sometimes third options. And that's when Lamar started doing his thing. It was a nasty win, but it was a W overall. 
offensive line still has a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Defensive backs still has a lot of work to do. Wink with his blitzes still has a lot of work to do. There's too many times in this game where I've seen one single safety high. Too many times. They made us, they, 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 we paid for it on that one play to Justin Jefferson. After that Justin Jefferson catch, he didn't really do that much. Three receptions, 69 yards, just that one TD. That was a 50 yarder. But other than that, Defense, they, they held it down a little bit. It was ugly. It was nasty. But they did what they had to do. It had, they gave up 31 points. But they did what they had to do. We need some safety help. Sean Elliott, I think this is his last year. So we need some playmaking. We need some playmaking on, the, on that safety end. We know Marcus Peters is out. That's our playmaker for us cornerbacks. I think um, Marlon Humphrey, I believe he's trying to work on what type of scheme. he Because he's not getting the fumbles this year. He never really was an interception person. So I'm, I'm thinking he's trying to find what's his niche. What's, what's, what's his thing he does very good. That when they go against him, they like, okay, this is what we got to look out for. Oh, let me shut this down. Uh, I can close that now. But I believe that's 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 one of the main things for for as what they got to look out for. Other than that, everything was pretty good. Pat Ricard came in the clutch. Mark Andrews dropped that TD. He did drop that TD. To me, that would have flipped the momentum a long time ago because that was right in the bread bath. Literally, that was a dime. He had it was beautiful pass. He just dropped it. After that, he started doing his thing, but he had no business dropping that. No business dropping that. Freeman and Bale, they did their thing. I felt like with Freeman, you can tell his his speed, his juice is not there, but it, I believe Freeman and Bell is really starting to understand the offense now. So when the hole is there, I've, I've been no, in this game, I noticed they got to the hole a lot faster than previous games. Bell with his elusiveness, with his spin, he kept doing that little spin and getting them extra yards falling forward. And that really helped, really in overtime. He was like, what, third and one in this thing? You know, he pulled out like an 11-yarder. So it's going to be interesting. We play, yep, Darren, we play on Thursday against the Dolphins. Short week. So we got to get right, they got to get right back into it. But the thing about a short week, too, is like you kind of get that bye. Again, it kind of rest up as well. But your body is still more banged up. Special teams. Special teams. Oh, God. Gave away the kick, the touchdown. Then what's that Brandon Stevens ran into day of? I almost messed that up. And it was just, oh, goodness. So we still have so much to work on. Ravens have so much to work on. It was not pretty at all. 
defense, I, what I still believe is our defense and offensive line right now is our kryptonite. Got to find some way to, got to find some way to fix that. Yep, Darren, many bye week. So, they, they got to fix it. Offensive line and defense, got to find it. But there's, like I said, there is that light where we got Marquise and we got Bateman. Mark Andrews had that one missed miss touchdown for the catch. Hopefully that is it. But, yep. Nasty win, but we still got the W. Win is a win. No matter how it comes, as long as you still get that win. The Browns beat the uh, Bengals, in my opinion, thanks to Chubb. But we still leading. We still the top dogs. Now, it's going to be interesting because we, 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 we still have a lot of work to do. So what what y'all just tell me what y'all think? Cause woof, mini bye week, Dolphins next. Oh man, that was a headache. That was just a headache. Woof.